John Dooley called the meeting to order at 701. Roll call is taken. Board members present Don Whipple, Burrup, Bill Ernstus, John Dooley, Don Manley of BFNS. Also present Judy Kern performed the duties of secretary. Board members Jim Crew, of course, Reese were absent. Is that January or is that December? That's December. You got January. Taken. Board members present were Bill Ernstus, Horace Reese, Jim Pruitt, John Dooley, Don Manley, BFNS, and Mary Gary Herbert were also present. Judy Kerr performed the duties, of, the duties of secretary. Board member Don Whipple was absent. The meeting agenda was reviewed. President John Dooley asked the board for a motion to approve the agenda. The motion made by Jim Pruitt, seconded by Horace Reese, to approve the agenda as presented. The motion is approved unanimously by a voice vote. Judy Kern read the minutes from the December 22nd regular meeting. Board members Jim Pruitt stated that he and Oris Reese were not present at that meeting. Since he and Oris would abstain to vote for the approved minutes, there would be only two remaining board members to vote on the motion. Therefore, Jim motion to Oris Reese seconded the approval of minutes be tabled until the February 23rd meeting. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote. Financial report Bill Ernst just read the airport financial report. He also reviewed the suggested changes the financial report format. Under old business, uh, shrub trimming, fence row clear out, Bill Ernst has reported that the delay is weather related. Uh, Trend Camp is waiting for the ground to be firm enough to support the excavating equipment but still soft enough for the trees to be removed. Under new business, annual transfer of money from the rotary fuel fund, the board reviewed the rules and discussed whether it was necessary to move money at this time. Bill stated that he tried to contact the DGALF to clarify the rules was unable to get a response. He also noted he did not think that the board was subject to the rules because the BOAC does not accept funds from the city council. Mayor, Her Mayor Herbert stated that the council did budget $80,000 to the board even though the board did not normally use the funding. The decision to move any funds this year was tabled until the rules were clarified. <clears throat> Election of officers, President John Dewey asked for nominations for the office of president for 2015 from the floor. Jim Pruitt made a motion to nominate Bill Ernstus for president. John Dooley seconded the motion. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote. Jim Pruitt made a motion to close nominations. John Dooley seconded the motion. The motion to approve John Dooley for 2015 president should be vice president. So we'll make a correction there. We'll talk about that. Uh, passed unanimously by voice vote. The president then asked for nominations for the office the Vice President for 2015, Horace Reese made a motion to nominate John Dooley for VP. Jim Pruitt seconded the motion. The motion passed unanimously by a voice vote. Bill Ernst made a motion to close nominations. Jim Pruitt seconded the motion. The motion to elect John Dooley VP passed unanimously by a voice vote. <clears throat> Don Manley for BFNS uh, reported that the two approved amendments have been forwarded to the state and that the CIP had been submitted as well. Approved payment of bills. After a review of the bills submitted for payment, Bill Ernst just made a motion, or seconded the motion, to approve payment of the bills. 
Motion passed by roll call four to nothing. John Dooley noted that a bill to pay Mary Bennett, the 2015 payment for $400 to not grow crops on approximately one acre of her land was omitted from the list. Bill Ernst has made a motion to pay the bill to pay Mary Bennett $400 not to grow crops uh, located at the south end of the runway. Jim Pruitt seconded the motion. The motion passed unanimously by roll call four to nothing. Asking for comments from the board, there were none. Uh, there being no further business before the board, Oris Reese made a motion. Jim Pruitt seconded the meeting to be adjourned. And motion passed unanimously by voice vote. Voice vote. President John Dooley adjourned the meeting at 7.26 p.m. Next meeting is scheduled for Monday, February 23rd, 7 p.m. City Hall. That's the minutes for the last meeting. I can't do that. You're the president. <laughs> I move we approve the minutes. Okay, I'll second With that little tweak in it there that you did. Gotcha. I'll suck it. It's modified. Okay. All the facts say I I approve. Okay, there is no financial reports. They don't have the have it up to date. They should have it for our March meeting. Old business shrub trimming up to date. Uh, update for fence rental and trees and sturgeons. I've been in contact with Phil Goddard and he is in agreement to let us move it out to April 15th with no problem as he's going to be in Hawaii. And Fred Search is also in agreement. So we're okay on those two items. Uh, new business, Mr. Manley. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Um, I have a couple business items. Uh, Actually, three, they're all somewhat related. Uh, the FAA asks every year that uh, whether you want to commit your non primary entitlement monies. We talked about that. You said yes, and now is the next step is to commit the money into a uh, pre application. I have before me a letter that uh, uh, says that uh, to the FAA from the board, uh, you need to make a motion on this authorizing uh, the board president to sign. It says uh, we intend to use our recovery. NP in 2013 and 14, along with the 2015 NP funds for project consistent with the approved uh, capital improvement plan. The items included are the benefit cost analysis update, the environmental documents for late noise modeling and runway, uh, latest noise modeling and runway length justifications, uh, others pertinent in, uh, and other pertinent sections of the uh, document. That is the letter. And then follow with that is the pre-application for what is asking for in the letter. The pre-application is for the commitment of all the funds, NP dollars. Uh, at this point in time, there's not any contracts, it, and this is just a pre-application. It's not your grant application, but it just uh, gives an indication to the FAA that, uh, where the money's going to go. Uh, the uh, total amount is $374,416.67. Um, and that is for those projects that I just named in the uh, letter. Could you say the amount? The, no, the amount. The amount. I'm sorry. The amount is total cost uh, is three hundred seventy-four thousand four hundred sixteen dollars and sixty-seven cents. That brings a federal commitment, uh, application commitment, the state's commission commitment consistent to ninety percent federal, five percent state, five percent local. And the third item which is in the, probably can be handled in the same motion. The third item is a um, partial pay request. The state has finally come about and brought a purchase order to commit to be able to uh, uh, call back the amount of money the state has committed to the grant for the taxiway overlay. Up to this point in time, the uh, state has uh, $1,520 that you can get back by this application. This, I, I want to back up, this actually doesn't need an authorization. This is a, a grant action and <coughs> it's just a follow up, so it just takes the uh, board's signature on that. It not, doesn't necessarily need an action. The action that I'm asking for, the motion that I'm asking for, I'll, I'll read uh, the authorization. Authorization to commit non primary entitlement and sign letter of intent along with the pre-application with the project co total cost of $374,416.67 for the benefit cost analysis and update of EA documents. That's 
the uh, suggested motion for the board to consider. Any discussion about that? If there's no discussion, I'll make a, a motion, as he said. I'll start it. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Is that as he said added to the end of that motion? That's right. <laughs> motion carries. That's all I have to report on. Okay. Next, the approval of bills. We have four bills to pay. Um, they didn't get this all printed out for some way. They sent it to us. She sent it to us on the, over the internet. Did you got on it? Did you get it, Jim? I don't know. I haven't even had a chance to look well, There's four bills. One was $400 for Mary Bennett. Uh, Indiana Department of Revenue for fuel, airport fuels. Uh, Mary Bennett was 400, fuel was 3621. Decatur County RAMC is 496. And Frontier Communications, 178.57 for a total of $1,110.78. Is that We got to pay RAMC so you can get your pension. Well, I've already got that. Okay, all right. Should we take care of you? That yeah, motion is approved. Is there, I mean, that seemed like a lot. Uh, what, for our agency? Yeah. No, I mean, okay. Is that true? It may that be for a couple months. <laughs> that could be good. from the board. Anybody in the audience want to say anything? I'll allow you to. Thank you, Tom. Uh, if not, I accept the motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Uh, we're adjourned.